His son's just finished fixing the blower for his forge. Made himself a cut-off tool. He's been showing me how to do a bit of blacksmithing. Anyway, I'm Tim from Redback Lasers and welcome back to the outside shed. And I'm going to show you the basics of how to use a rotating laser outside. We've got Redback Lasers EL614 here, which comes with the standard LR715 laser detector. So for that laser, when we power it on, that laser is auto-leveling. It will auto-level within about 5 degrees, which is about an industry standard, somewhere between 3 and 5 degrees. That laser then shoots a dot out and rotates it around 360 degrees. The reason for this is our laser receiver requires a laser pulse to see that laser beam, and that rotation beam is what gives us the pulse. So we imagine that rotating beam giving us a level plane, of laser that we're going to work from. Then operating the receiver we power it on and that as we said is going to see the laser beam and tell us whether we're too high, too low or right on the mark. Anyway we'll take the laser there over to our tripod and we'll give you a bit more of an idea of it operating. So we've got our tripod here and we've set it up nice and low. The reason why we spread those legs out and jam the feet in is to give us a really stable platform to work from. So if we um, put our laser onto our tripod, again powering it on, waiting for it to level and begin to rotate so it gives us that horizontal laser plane to work from. Now if we grab our receiver, we can attach that receiver to our staff. power it on and now we can work out from a datum point so if we're going to work off a datum point here so we've got that level at that point now understand that receiver's got a one mil tolerance so sometimes it can be tricky to get it to flat line sometimes you might just decide you're going to go up and down and up and down over that flat line and that's good enough for your purpose from there we can go off to another point so we might have a point over here where we want at the same height and we can just adjust our staff then until we've got the right height, put a peg in on the ground and put that at the right height. A few things we need to keep in mind. Firstly, that's our laser pickup there on the receiver. We can't aim the back at the receiver at the laser beam because we're not going to be picking up that laser. Be very wary of, do I have glass around? Am I shooting the laser into a glass window and back to my receiver because I am going to get reflection. But well, that gives you the basics of using a rotating laser outdoors to transfer your datum points. And always remember, if you need a decent laser, gotta get a red back. If you like these videos, please subscribe.